Welcome to our podcast on how social media is destroying our lives. Social media has become a ubiquitous presence in our daily lives, connecting us with friends, family, and the world at large. However, concerns are growing about the negative impact of social media on our mental and physical health, our relationships, and our society. In this podcast, we will explore these concerns and discuss strategies for using social media in a more positive and responsible way. Join us as we delve into the complex world of social media and its impact on our lives. The Psychological Effects of Social Media Use Social media has become a ubiquitous presence in our daily lives, with billions of people around the world using social media platforms to connect with others, share their lives, and consume news and information. While social media has many benefits, such as connecting people across long distances and facilitating communication, Research suggests that social media use can also have negative psychological effects, including depression, anxiety, and addiction. One of the most significant psychological effects of social media use is an increased risk of depression. Social media can contribute to feelings of social isolation, loneliness, and a lack of connection, particularly among young people who may rely heavily on social media to maintain their friendships and social lives. Social media can also expose users to idealized images of other people's lives, leading to feelings of inadequacy, low self-esteem, and poor body image. In some cases, social media use can even trigger symptoms of depression in people who are already vulnerable. Social media use has also been linked to increased levels of anxiety, particularly social anxiety. The constant exposure to other people's opinions, the pressure to present oneself in a positive light, and the fear of missing out can all contribute to feelings of overwhelm and anxiety. Social media can also exacerbate social anxiety as it allows for constant comparison with others and can create a feeling of being constantly on display. This can lead to a vicious cycle of anxiety and avoidance where people may feel compelled to stay connected to social media even if it makes them feel worse. Social media addiction is a growing concern, with many people finding it difficult to disconnect from their devices. Social media platforms are designed to be addictive, with features like notifications, likes, and comments designed to trigger dopamine releases in the brain. This can create an addictive cycle that can be hard to break, with users checking their social media accounts compulsively and feeling anxious or upset if they are unable to access them. Social media addiction can lead to a range of negative consequences, including sleep disturbances, decreased productivity, and reduced social interaction in the real world. Overall, the psychological effects of social media use are complex and multifaceted. While social media can provide many benefits, it is important to be aware of the potential negative effects and to use social media in a way that promotes our mental health and well-being. By setting boundaries, taking breaks from social media, and being mindful of how we interact with others online, we can help mitigate the negative psychological effects of social media use. The Impact of Social Media on Our Relationships Social media has dramatically changed the way we interact with each other, allowing us to connect with people across the globe with just a few clicks. While social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram have many benefits, including facilitating communication and helping us stay connected with friends and family, they can also have a negative impact on our relationships. One of the most significant impacts of social media on our relationships is the potential for social isolation. While social media allows us to connect with people online, it can also lead to a reduction in face-to-face interactions and feelings of loneliness. Spending too much time on social media can cause people to withdraw from their real-world social networks and become isolated, leading to negative mental health outcomes like depression and anxiety. Social media can also have a negative impact on our communication skills. Communicating via text messages, emojis, and likes can create a false sense of intimacy that doesn't translate well to real-world interactions. Social media also encourages quick and superficial interactions, which can lead to a lack of depth in our relationships. Additionally, the constant distractions of social media can make it difficult to engage in meaningful conversations and can lead to a reduction in our ability to communicate effectively. Social media can also contribute to conflicts in our relationships, particularly romantic relationships. Jealousy, insecurity, and infidelity are all common issues that can arise from social media use, 
with many people reporting feeling jealous or insecure after seeing their partner interact with others online. Social media can also make it easier to cheat, with apps like Tinder facilitating casual hookups and affairs. Overall, social media can have a significant impact on our relationships, both positive and negative. By being mindful of our social media use and balancing online interactions with face-to-face -face connections, we can ensure that social media enhances rather than detracts from our relationships. It's essential to communicate openly with our loved ones and set boundaries around our social media use to promote healthy relationships and positive mental health outcomes. The Role of Social Media in Spreading Misinformation and Polarizing Our Society Social media has become an essential source of information for many people, but it has also become a breeding ground for misinformation and propaganda. Social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter have been used to spread false information and conspiracy theories, which can have significant consequences for public health, politics, and social issues. Social media makes it easy for false information to spread rapidly, often faster than the truth. This is because social media algorithms prioritize content that generates engagement, regardless of whether it's accurate or not. This can lead to the spread of misinformation, which can have harmful consequences, especially during crises like pandemics, where the spread of false information can lead to panic and confusion. Social media has also been blamed for increasing polarization in society. Social media algorithms show us content that is similar to what we have interacted with before, which means that we are less likely to see opposing viewpoints. This can lead to echo chambers, where people are only exposed to ideas that reinforce their existing beliefs, leading to more extreme and polarized views. This can have significant implications for political discourse, with social media being blamed for increasing political polarization in many countries. Social media also creates filter bubbles, where people are only exposed to information that supports their worldview, leading to a lack of understanding and empathy for opposing viewpoints. This can create a toxic environment where people feel justified in their beliefs, even if they are harmful to others. Overall, social media has played a significant role in spreading misinformation and polarizing our society. It's essential to be aware of the potential for misinformation and to seek out reliable sources of information. It's also crucial to engage with people who hold different viewpoints and to be open to new perspectives, even if they challenge our existing beliefs. By being mindful of the impact of social media on our views and interactions, we can work towards a more tolerant and understanding society. The Potential Impact of Social Media on Our Physical Health Social media has become an integral part of our daily lives, with people spending hours scrolling through their feeds every day. However, the constant use of social media can have a significant impact on our physical health, including sleep disturbances and eye strain. Research has shown that the blue light emitted by smartphones and other devices can interfere with our body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Exposure to blue light at night can reduce the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. This can lead to sleep disturbances, which can have a negative impact on our physical and mental health, including decreased productivity and increased risk of depression. Spending long hours staring at a screen can also lead to eye strain and other visual problems. The blue light emitted by devices can cause digital eye strain, which includes symptoms such as dry eyes, headaches, and blurred vision. In addition, the constant switching between screens and the scrolling motion can cause motion sickness and nausea in some people. Social media use can also contribute to a sedentary lifestyle, which is linked to a range of health problems such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Spending long periods sitting or lying down while using social media can lead to decreased physical activity and can contribute to a range of health problems. Overall, social media use can have a significant impact on our physical health. It's essential to take breaks from social media and limit our screen time to reduce the risk of sleep disturbances, eye strain, and other health problems. By being mindful of our social media use, we can prioritize our physical health and well-being. The Addictive Nature of Social Media and Strategies for Breaking Free from Its Grip Social media is designed to be addictive. Every time we open an app or website, we're bombarded with a flood of notifications, likes, and comments that trigger the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. 
over time. This can create an addictive cycle with users constantly seeking more likes, comments, and followers. Breaking free from the grip of social media addiction can be challenging, but there are several strategies that can help. 1. Set boundaries. One of the most effective ways to break free from social media addiction is to set boundaries around your use. This might include limiting your screen time, turning off notifications, or scheduling designated times to check your social media accounts. 2. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness can be a powerful tool for overcoming social media addiction. By being present in the moment and focusing on your thoughts and feelings, you can become more aware of the triggers that lead you to use social media and learn to break the cycle. 3. Find alternative activities. One way to break the addictive cycle of social media is to find alternative activities that provide a similar sense of pleasure and reward. This might include exercising, reading, or spending time with friends and family. 4. Seek support. Breaking free from social media addiction can be challenging, and it's essential to seek support from friends, family, or a mental health professional. They can provide encouragement, guidance, and accountability as you work to overcome your addiction. In summary, social media addiction can have a significant impact on our lives, but there are strategies we can use to break free from its grip. By setting boundaries, practicing mindfulness, finding alternative activities, and seeking support, we can take control of our social media use and prioritize our mental health and well-being. The Impact of Social Media on Our Productivity and Ability to Focus Social media can have a significant impact on our productivity and ability to focus. With endless streams of notifications, updates, and distractions, it's easy to get sidetracked and lose sight of our priorities. Here are some ways social media can impact our productivity and focus. 1. Distraction. Social media is designed to be engaging, and it's easy to get sucked into endless scrolling and clicking. This can distract us from important tasks and make it difficult to focus on our work. 2. Multitasking. Many of us try to multitask by checking our social media accounts while working on other tasks. However, research shows that multitasking can actually be counterproductive, leading to decreased productivity and poorer quality work. 3. Procrastination. Social media can be a tempting way to procrastinate and put off tasks we don't want to do. However, this can lead to a cycle of stress and anxiety as we try to catch up on our work. 4. Sleep Disturbances Social media use can also impact our sleep, making it harder to focus and be productive during the day. Here are some strategies for improving productivity and focus in the age of social media. 1. Set Boundaries One of the most effective ways to improve productivity and focus is to set boundaries around your social media use. This might include turning off notifications, designating specific times to check your accounts, or using apps that help you track and limit your social media use. 2. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness can be a powerful tool for improving productivity and focus. By being present at the moment and focusing on our tasks, we can avoid distractions and stay on track. 3. Prioritize tasks. To avoid multitasking and stay focused, it's essential to prioritize our tasks and focus on the most important ones first. 4. Take breaks. Taking regular breaks can help improve productivity and focus. However, it's important to use these breaks to recharge rather than get lost in social media or other distractions. In summary, social media can have a significant impact on our productivity and ability to focus. By setting boundaries, practicing mindfulness, prioritizing tasks, and taking breaks, we can take control of our social media use and prioritize our productivity and well-being. The role of social media in shaping our self-image and perpetuating unrealistic beauty standards. Social media has become a powerful tool for shaping our self-image, particularly when it comes to beauty standards. Platforms like Instagram and TikTok are filled with images of flawless, airbrushed bodies and faces, perpetuating unrealistic beauty standards that can be damaging to our self-esteem and mental health. Here are some ways that social media can impact our self-image and perpetuate unrealistic beauty standards. 1. Comparison Social media can be a breeding ground for comparison, as we see images of other people who seem to have perfect bodies and flawless skin. This can make us feel inadequate and fuel unrealistic expectations of ourselves. 2. Filtered images. 
social media filters and editing tools can create images that are far from reality, leading us to believe that achieving the same flawless look is achievable in real life. 3. Influencers and Celebrities Influencers and celebrities on social media often promote beauty standards that are unattainable for the average person. This can create pressure to conform to these standards, leading to dissatisfaction with our own bodies and appearance. 4. Advertising Social media is also a platform for advertising, which often promotes products and services that promise to change our bodies or appearance. This can lead to the belief that we need to alter ourselves in order to meet unrealistic beauty standards. Here are some strategies for improving our self-image and avoiding the impact of unrealistic beauty standards on social media. 1. Follow body positive accounts. Social media can also be a source of inspiration and positivity when it comes to body image. By following accounts that promote body positivity and self-love, we can counteract the negative impact of unrealistic beauty standards. 2. Unfollow negative accounts. If certain accounts or influencers are making you feel bad about your body or appearance, it's important to unfollow them. This can help create a more positive and supportive social media environment. 3. Be aware of editing tools. It's important to remember that social media images are often heavily edited and filtered. By being aware of these tools and understanding that they create unrealistic beauty standards, we can avoid falling prey to their impact. 4. Focus on health, not appearance. Instead of focusing on appearance, we should prioritize our health and well-being. By making healthy choices and taking care of our bodies, we can feel more confident and positive about ourselves. In summary, social media can play a significant role in shaping our self-image and perpetuating unrealistic beauty standards. By being aware of these impacts, following body positive accounts, unfollowing negative accounts, being aware of editing tools, and prioritizing health over appearance, we can improve our self-image and mental health in the age of social media. The Impact of Social Media on Politics and Democracy Social media has become a powerful tool in shaping political discourse and shaping public opinion. However, it has also had a significant impact on the state of politics and democracy worldwide. One of the major issues with social media's impact on politics is the spread of fake news and misinformation. With the rise of user-generated content and the ease with which information can be shared, it has become increasingly difficult to differentiate between real news and fake news. This has led to the spread of conspiracy theories, which have further polarized public opinion and undermined trust in democratic institutions. Social media has also been used as a platform for hate speech and cyberbullying. These issues have a direct impact on political discourse and can be used to silence or intimidate people who hold different political views. Furthermore, social media algorithms often promote content that reinforces pre-existing biases, leading to echo chambers and further polarization of public opinion. Another issue with social media's impact on politics is the commodification of public opinion. Social media companies have made a business out of collecting user data and selling it to advertisers. This has led to the creation of highly targeted political campaigns that are designed to appeal to specific groups of voters. As a result, politicians are increasingly focused on appealing to specific interest groups rather than on crafting policies that benefit society as a whole. Overall, the impact of social media on politics and democracy is complex and multifaceted. While it has the potential to increase political participation and promote public discourse, it can also lead to the spread of fake news, hate speech, and the polarization of public opinion. As such, it is important for individuals and policymakers to remain vigilant and actively work to mitigate the negative impacts of social media on politics and democracy. Strategies for using social media in a more positive and responsible way while there are certainly many negative impacts associated with social media use, it is possible to use these platforms in a more positive and responsible way. Here are some strategies for doing so. 1. Set boundaries. One of the best ways to ensure that social media doesn't take over your life is to set clear boundaries around your usage. This might mean limiting the amount of time you spend on social media each day or taking a break from social media altogether on weekends or during vacations. 2. Practice digital detoxes. A digital detox is a period of time during which you disconnect from all digital devices, including social media platforms. 
This can be a great way to reset your relationship with technology and re-establish healthy habits around social media use. 3. Be mindful of your content consumption. It's important to be mindful of the content you consume on social media. This means being selective about who you follow, avoiding negative or inflammatory content, and actively seeking out content that is uplifting, informative, or inspiring. 4. Use social media to connect with others. One of the biggest benefits of social media is the ability to connect with others, regardless of geography or time zone. By using social media to connect with others in positive ways, such as sharing ideas, seeking support, or celebrating successes, you can help to counteract some of the negative impacts of social media. 5. Use social media to promote positive change. Social media can also be a powerful tool for promoting positive change. Whether you're using social media to raise awareness about a social or political issue or to organize a community event, there are countless ways to use these platforms to affect positive change in the world. Conclusion As we come to the end of this podcast on how social media is impacting our lives, it's clear that these platforms have both positive and negative effects. While social media has the power to connect us with others, share information, and create positive change, it also has the potential to contribute to feelings of anxiety, depression, and social isolation. It's up to each of us to take responsibility for our social media use and to take steps to ensure that we're using these platforms in a positive and responsible way. By setting boundaries, practicing digital detoxes, being mindful of our content consumption, and using social media to connect with others and promote positive change. We can work to mitigate some of the negative impacts of social media and cultivate a healthier relationship with technology. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We hope that it has provided you with valuable insights and strategies for navigating the complex world of social media. If you like this then press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such content and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload new content.